welcome back to The Pin Man. Today, our special guest is the... Today, we're looking at the another economical offering by a uh, world-respected uh, pin manufacturer of very, very nice pins, the Sailor Pin Company, and in particular, we're looking at the Sailor 1911 Compass. I'm looking forward to this review and I wanted to get it out because right now, this uh, pin that normally retails around uh, $39 uh, is on sale and has been on sale at Goulet Pins for $30. So it would be a good opportunity for you to pick up this wonderful pin uh, at a, um, Pretty, pretty good savings at that, at that price level. So, without further ado, let's get into the, the tour of the Sailor Compass. And then uh, during that tour, I'm gonna compare it against two other pins, not against, but with uh, two other pins that in my mind came very close to the size and shape of the compass to give you a little more of a of an idea of uh, how it stacks up against some higher end pins one from the sailor company and another one from another well-known company and so i encourage you to uh, stay tuned to the pin man all right don't forget to and we'll see you on the other side Okay, here we have the Sailor Compass in this uh, nice packaging. It's just like a plastic sleeve there. And then the pin, it's got, comes with two uh, cartridges. These are, or yeah, cartridges. These are proprietary cartridges. And it comes with some instructions. I'm not going to totally unfold that because trying to get these things <laughs> folded back is a uh, is a pain. Uh, underneath, there's nothing, so I'm not going to take that apart. All right, then you have the pen. Now, thankfully, and this is what uh, too many uh, nice pen companies do not do. But the Sailor Compass comes with a, yes, you guessed it, a proprietary uh, converter. And especially, I, I think, if companies use cartridges or proprietary cartridges, converters, I, I think they, you know, they really need to include a converter. Um, you, you know, you're paying enough for, for a pen. And th this is only a $30 pen, $39 regular price. And the Sailor Pen Company uh, supplied a, you know, a decent converter. So I, <clears throat> I appreciate that. All right, let's take a look at some of the parts of the pen. Now, um, I'm going to show some, some differences here of two other pens, but uh, I'll go through this pen in particular, then I'll, then I'll show a comparison. I, I do have some size comparisons with uh, other pens, but start with this. One of the, uh, I'm gonna try to remember to do on these pen reviews, because it's important. Uh, how many turns it takes to get the cap off? So we got one, we have two, Okay, about two and a quarter. And according to these two other pens, they are, uh, I'll go ahead and say it. Anyway, I, I'm comparing it to the, the Sailor 1911 Standard and then the Platinum 3776. 
so both in size. And I, and I think both of those, they're about one, one and three quarters turns. So, but you know, I mean, that's not that bad, all right? Okay, so let's take a little closer look at this pin. All right. First of all, we have the, the clip. The clip is just a, you know, nothing, nothing fancy uh, clip. It's got some good spring to it. And then, then it has a band that says Sailor made in Japan. Any surprise there? Okay. And then it tapers off to this uh, little elongated, uh, I guess you would call this a guitar, guitar, cigar shape. All right. Take that off. There is a uh, seal, slip seal, whatever. It's not spring loaded, but there is a seal in there that will keep the uh, ink from drying out. The nib. I, I appreciate also when these companies uh, do a good job with, uh, with their inexpensive nibs. This is very simple nib, but you see the Sailor Anchor on there, and then below that it says medium fine. Unfortunately, that is the only nib tip size that this uh, pen comes in. It would have been really nice if it would have come in also a, a medium because uh, uh, I'm not real crazy about fine nibs. And so a medium fine even is like a European American fine nib. So, uh, so if I get a Japanese pen, I want to at least get a medium. All right, so nice looking pen though. I do, again, appreciate the anchor there. The, the grip is a decent size. And I'll go over those differences here in a minute. All right, again, you open it up and you have the converter inside, uh, see-through. There, there are some, I'll back this off a little bit. some uh, but these uh, little ridges inside I doubt they're for decorations probably more for strength but they are there alrighty okay so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the comparisons between the Sailor 1911 compass the Sailor 1911 standard and the platinum 3776 okay as you've seen these pictures here they are uh, all three of the pens uh, posted you can see that the uh, the standard 1911 standard is very close to uh, the size of the uh, compass the century is slightly larger, actually the century or the century you know, platinum 3776 century is uh, about the size of the 1911 uh, posted there. Uh, the, the main difference that I really see as far as uh, you know visual between the 1911 standard and the compass, is a uh, more embellished uh, band, larger band, and then the, the clip is probably a little bit, well, yeah, the clip is gonna be a little fancier. It has some ridges on there. The, um, the nibs, of course, well, let me go ahead and uh, go to the, to the next picture here. Here we have, now, I, I, as you, as you can tell, for those of you who are used to uh, been to the Goulet website, they have this uh, section uh, called the Pin Plaza, and that's under uh, tools or something like that. The, uh, this is where I, I copied and pasted 
these uh, pictures just to give you some a better view okay so as you as you can see from here the now here it looks like the 3776 is slightly shorter but uh, according to the sizes uh, that's not the case I I don't know anyway uh, the as far as the length of the of the body so that's going to be from the tip of the nib to the end finial here is uh, the compass is 114.5 millimeters the standard is 116.8 and then the 3776 is 120 uh, if you go here you can see though that they're that the nib tip is further out so I can see where they get that and that's probably why the 3776 seems shorter in my hands uh, look where the grip is that's about even and so I don't know uh, you are going to have to use the compass at a slightly larger angle but um, how about the weights the compass is 7 grams 1911 uh, the short or the standard I'm sorry is 9 grams and the 3776 is 10 grams diameter of the body 12 uh, grams for the compass 12 for the standard and then 13 for the 3776 uh, the diameter of the grip both the compass and the standard are 9.7 millimeters and the 3776 is 10.1 not not much of a difference in in a lot of these categories now big difference in these pins is the compass only has uh, it just has a steel nib and it only comes in a medium fine whereas the standard and the 3776 all come you know both come in with 14 karat nibs and so you have the price the compass again is anywhere from 30 to 39 dollars of course you go to amazon it's going to be even more than that the 1911 standard is 220 dollars basically this is uh, from Goulet, the Goulet site and the 3776 ranges anywhere from 176 to 280 dollars so those are some comparisons uh, pins that are basically uh, very much uh, similar size shape just to give you uh, that overview okay here you have the sailor 1911 compass and then you have the lamy safari and then you have the diplomat magnum and the diplomat arrow and here you have them uncapped and here you have them posted all right, now for a writing sample of the Sailor 1911 Compass. And as you can see, hopefully you can see that the feed is kind of cool on the side there. It still looks clear, but uh, obviously it's reflecting the blue ink. I'm using uh, Horizon Blue. So we have the... Sailor 1911 Compass and this is a medium fine which I don't um, 
I think it's a, a pretty decent nib. I'm typically a medium uh, nib writer, but nib, nib tip, but uh, this seems to be doing good. All right, and <laughs> Monte Verde Horizon, if I could write right, blue. All right, how's the flow on this? No skips, no hard starts. Okay, nice there. Um, pretty stiff nib. Although there is some decent line variation. Go from a medium fine to a medium maybe. Okay, if you like if you like to do that with your nibs. Okay, how about reverse writing? Dun dun dun. Reverse writing. All right, very good. Let's see how long it lasts. And it keeps on flowing, folks. All right. Nib smoothness, downstrokes, cross strokes. There's a there's a little bit of upstrokes. There's a little bit of uh, feedback, but but not too not too bad, especially considering that it's a medium fine. Um, yeah, I don't use a lot of pressure, so I don't. I don't have a problem with this. Let's see, reverse again. Even wow, even on the even reverse writing, it is not scratchy at all. It's about the same on reverse as it is the regular. All right, I I like this nib for thirty to thirty nine dollar uh, fountain pen, and I haven't really noticed any discomfort with uh, writing um, unposted and then posted let's see get that on there again it's not it doesn't feel back weighted I'm not irritated by the band it's in a good place all right so how do I feel about this sailor 1911 compass I like it give it the smiley man so there you have it the sailor 1911 compass in transparent blue nice dark blue i love it all right i'd like to thank you for taking the time to uh, check out the pin man and even more particular the sailor 1911 compass fountain pen so i hope this has been helpful to you and again if this looks like a, a good deal to you uh, don't forget to uh, check out goulet pens i checked around some other online pen stores and i didn't see it, see it on sale anywhere else they're all around 39 dollars the regular discount price <laughs> for the manufactured resale uh, price. So anyway, thank you again for tuning in. Hope it's been helpful. Don't forget to check out a couple of more videos and to, you have a great day.